doing, buddy? You enjoying the trip? Yeah. We're gonna go up to Newport. See if we can find some goodies. Maybe your daddy will buy you a snack, huh? Tell him you want one of them really big dog biscuits. Yeah. No? What's your favorite? You're fussy, huh? You get steak? When you go to dog with me, they give him one. You get steak? And he takes it and puts it under the seat and back. The dog to go to the dump by. Remember that years ago they used to play that music, go to the dump by? Mm -hmm. that, that, that Waterbury station used to play it. Every Saturday everybody get up to the Hello. dump. Talk about their politics and stuff. What they like and don't like. It's kind of pretty out there today, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw some press tracks that were out reading the water, I think. He reads that and readers the same day. Most of them roses are gone now, aren't they? The ones that lived in the house. The boys. Yeah. Yeah. Florida. Ah. Uh, That's where I live. lives there. Yeah. The Rose. That's right. Oh, I didn't know I didn't have any kids. Yeah. Look at that frost up the top of that mill. Ooh. Well, it was 24 below this morning. You freaked yeah. their nuts off there today. There's old Phil's house. I yep. never did much of that Big place. Old barn right there I used to have. Yeah, I can remember when he had that across the road. Yep. Still remember him walking across there to go milk him. He was a grumpy old son of a gun, he wasn't was a son of a bitch to kill him. Oh, wouldn't doubt it. I wonder whose old house that one was there. Thomas? Oh, was that who was there? Clyde. Thomas. Clyde Thomas. Clyde Thomas. That little building up there for the coming up to is where the first schoolhouse you went to was, wasn't it? I went there. Lori Wickham was there too. Ain't very big, is it? Boy, day like day, you could form it. I don't imagine there's much insulation in them walls. Ain't nothing. There ain't nothing when they throw them apart. Now, who, li who lived in this place there? Steve Hudley. Oh, yeah. Quite a while ago, too. That was the right, uh, right's place on the corner. George, yeah. George, yeah. Remember that. What was this little building once? Was that a house or something no, else? Oh, I used to be the town clerk's office. I used to be in East Mill. Oh, I didn't know that was the town clerk's office. Yep. Guess it didn't need a very big building, did it? They moved it down here. Now, there was a farm in the middle of this hill up here. Leeches. Leeches, yeah. I think she married uh, Ken Strong, didn't she? The girl? The girl? Yeah. Yeah, he, she did. She was the state trooper years ago. That used to be a house right there. Well, that one is a big fucking barn right there. That was the biggest farm in Eden. That was quite some time ago. 
I can barely remember that barn being there. There was a pickup called the 12 cans of milk the other day. 12 whole cans, huh? I wonder how many cows you was milking to get 12 cans. Like 15, 20 probably? I remember when we had uh, milk cans. We had one of those uh, old water coolers used to keep milk cans in before they, the people come to pick them up. All these guys did. They had uh, cold spring water running into it, keep the milk cold. Pull a fucking milk can out of those cold cans. Fucking mister. I was driving me a truck like three weeks and drive the milk for Rest. Well, them cans were pretty heavy. Fucking right there. How many gallons do you think it was in one of them? I think it was 30 gallons. I know, I was so young, I couldn't pick them up. My father had to do it. But we only got like, oh, six, seven cans, so it weren't very much. But I don't think they picked it up every day. Well, the one we had there was they went to the Fairfax Creamery, where there used to be an old creamery down here years ago. See, there were three farms up on here we used to go. You remember when this old hotel was running as a hotel? Yep. Huh. Who owned that? Uh, who? I don't know who owned it. Most of these guys lived in there. That's when they were working that mill. That mill right here on the brook? Yeah, they were making up the butter tub. Can you remember that being running? Oh, yeah. See, I never remember that mill being there. I know the foundation's there, but it must be it was gone by the 50s. Oh, yeah, it was. I don't even think they make butter tubs anymore. Make butter tubs there, and and the little boxes you put butter in with a cover on them. It leaves a clover leaf all over the butter. Ha! Huh. There was something about that homemade butter. It just tasted a lot different oh, than that store bought. Oh, it was. My mother used to churn it. <laughs> Boy, it was delicious. We always had homemade. And when we butchered the hogs, we always had pork rinds. Dad used to fry up those uh, the skin off the bellies to make pork rinds with them. Those were real pork rinds. I guess we ate all right. Lake Eden. I bet you they're out there perch fishing today. There might be some dummies out there. They better have their long johns on or they're going to get the balls cold. 24 below I had at the house it just before the sun came up. Look at frost on their fucking whirly wheel. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't, there's some tracks going out there. They walk down by the lots. Yep. Oh, yeah. Little Boy Scout yeah, camp. No, I don't think I'd want to drive on them either. There must be a few underground springs in that lane. Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to hurry to get there. Probably catch up with him in a little while. Somebody having a little lucky. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Probably they ain't got no book on her. No, they probably ain't writing too many tickets today. Yeah, no, no. You ever hunt up on this mountain up here? Yep, yeah, we used to come in from the Albany Road. 
Boy, that's a steep son of a gun now, ain't it? See many houses built on that road. There's one road up there in that notch. Oh, there is somebody up there? There is somebody. He, he moved down here now. I wonder how he got his driveway up there. He didn't have it. He was putting down some four wheelers and the one that's on the wheel. Huh? I'm sure the morning. Quite a few Morins up here and she married that Cochran. Oh yeah. The one that buried his boy. Huh. He buried her in there somewhere. Pretty veggie digging. Farm here was working at one time. Yep. Yep, Dad always came in and moved his hay. The old windmills are just churning out that free electricity. Bet you town of Lowell made a couple of dollars off that. They had to pay for the school and everything else up here. Yeah, they paid for the school and, they, and the town didn't have to pay any, any taxes. The town didn't have any tax bill. Not for the first 15 years, they will not take care of it. Well, hell, they could stick a windmill up above my house if I don't have to pay any taxes. I'd go along with that. Maybe we ought to run a line right up here and get, uh, get ourselves some of that free electricity. Now this barn is gone, ain't it? That was here yep. on this corner. Hold it was Holdley Farm. I did remember. Yeah. The barn that burned down the Hudley percent of it. And it was this little farm here. Do you remember who farmed that? Don't say it's the middle of the whole thing. But his barn was up here. Oh, up on the top there. Yeah. I wonder how much money that guy paid. That burns all that mess. It was a farmer that owned it, wasn't it? Yeah. One guy right up here. It wasn't one of the McAllisters here, was it? No. Because they live up here on the corner. He came from Arizona. Oh. He bought the whole fucking mountain all the way through on Route 58. He didn't want anybody fucking loved him. Yeah, that's the problem with people coming in from outside. They close. First thing you do is they close off all the land. One of the fucking trees is that Post it. You ain't gonna cut them. I built them decks and I built a big addition on his ground. He's got a big fucking mansion up there. Lucky him. You liar. You liar or a lawyer? A liar. <laughs> a lion lawyer. Yeah, anybody would suit on. I kind of tried to stay away from them anyway. Nice fucking on that. That's a nice looking barn there. Yeah, that's John Cunningham's. Huh? I used to work with John. Back when his dad was Harvey and I and John. So 
that must have been quite a crew. Gary La Jolla. Yeah. All went into Burlington to work, didn't he? He worked on Johnson's College. Yeah. Yeah, I worked up there in the sixties a little bit when they were doing steps and stuff. But they paid an unbelievable wages at the time. I think it was two dollars and sixteen cents. That was a lot of money. into the old little town of Lowe. Irish Spirit Dime Mines. <laughs> Bandstand. Oh, there was one time the opening, right? Of the mountain tried to stop those boats. They didn't want them, did they? That's because they all got their pretty houses on that other side there and they didn't want to look at them. No way, no way, no way, right? No fucking noise in those things. I never heard any noise out of them. I didn't hear them. Look at that. What noise? Frost up there on the top. That's Jay Peak, isn't it? Bet you there ain't many skiers up there today. Canadians just come down a lot and ski there. This place here is for sale. That's bar. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that bar for years there. Goes up to every little park now. There's been quite a few fights there too, from what I used to hear. Get some of that sauce into them, they get the bickering back and forth. Yeah, look at that beautiful house up there in the woods. Well, I guess it's a little better than our mobile home then, huh? Yeah, probably. Oh, well. I guess we get what we tell. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we pay two hundred dollars a year in taxes, and they're paying three or four thousand a year. It's not over. Yeah, most of my tank. Yeah, well, I got them going, going, going it out the other day. You didn't use much, did you? There's still something five percent. All I can put in is eighty percent. Well, that pellet stove that's eat pretty much eating your whole place. Yeah, it is. If I had a place for one, I'd put one in, but my walls are pretty much taken up. My place is only 12 foot wide. Yours is 14. Is it mine 14? Yeah. You got two extra feet. I'm skinnier than you are, so I don't need as much room. Like at the top of an ice cream cone there, and that, all that white on the top. They must have drilled right into that ledge up there, probably. They did that thing to hold that cable. That worked up there on when they said they had uh, Indians who were walking the cable lines up there doing it. Who was the he helped build that? Dad? Indians. Oh, the Indians. And then the next day they'd be up there, 300 feet in the fucking air, walking on fucking beams. Yeah, that's what Dad was saying. Yeah, I don't know how they could do it. Son of a bitch, isn't it? Oh. 
I'm too clumsy for that. There's that monastery out there. Yep. They still got monks living out there? They come down out of Canada. Still milking cows up there. Ray Delusier was uh, yep. his son was working there. Yep. He got killed, I think, in a traffic accident. He was driving tractor trailer and everything. Yeah. Yep, that's right, he was. <laughs> I think he just graduated too. Yep. Just did that. The other one, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce, yeah. Now, what was your father's name? Rudy. Rudy, that's right. Yeah, Rudy used to. Uh, I used to talk with him. He'd tell me about how before they had the airport there in Burlington, he used to farm down there, and he uh, would hay their fields. Because all they had was these, just these couple of uh, cub planes here. There weren't any big planes here at all. So that must have been in the 40s. When we were at Johnson College, Rudy's brother was the super up there, back then. Wow, he must have been old because uh, Rudy, I think, was in his 90s when he died. wife died before he did. Another nice looking farm right there, too. Got the mayor, they were retired, and the higher fans bought it up. 